you know, we all like to look back at our memories of our, of our kids growing up. Some of the best memories I've got is from 1999 to 2001. I coached a group of kids, including my son Tyler. Uh, just a lot of good times, good memories. And uh, some of those thoughts came back to my mind the other day, and I thought, maybe I'll put those on video. Conversations I have with my coaches and parents and the kids on the field. And uh, it literally took me 15 minutes just to jot down all these things that I'm going to put on this video. And these are actual conversations that I had. There's a ton more. I didn't mention all the kids, but I can tell you one thing. All those kids uh, hold a place in my heart. A lot of good memories, a lot of good times. So if your name isn't mentioned in here, it uh, doesn't mean you aren't thought about uh, greatly. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this little video and look back about 17, 18 years ago. Okay, guys. Palm Bay Pirates today. Two games. Uh, we got to make it happen. Let's at least make a split. They got a pretty good team. You know, Ed, Dan, actually a really good coach. He uh, he knows what he's doing. He's crafty. He knows what he's doing. But hey, don't ever tell him I said that, or my kids will go and want to play with him. Don't ever tell anybody I said that. So, Mr. Nungesh, we played for a whole spring, and now you uh, kind of hang him up. I appreciate you letting Phil come over here and play with us. You know, I never told you, but you uh, taught me a lot just by watching you coach. Yeah, you know, you're you're a heck of a coach. You know, Phil, all warm ups are to these guys. It's just social hour. I mean, that's all it is to half of them anyway. I mean, no wonder all my balls are sticky because half of them are eating their honey buns as they're warming up. Hey, Angus, you know that Superman is a signal for squeeze play, right? I mean, what are you today? 0 for 3? You think I'm calling you Superman because you're 0 for 3? Hey, Brian, I give you the signal and you call time and step out and then you just mouth, what, you want me to bunt? You think they don't pick up on that? You know, Scotty, I can never tell if your dog just died or if you hit a grand slam to win the game. Your demeanor is always the same. Hey, Scotty, come here. One more thing. Does your dad own any shoes? Hey, John, what should we do here? I mean, the corners are in. Do we leave Wes and Jonathan back or would you bring him in too? Nah, I don't know either. So we just let them stay where they're at and if it's the wrong move, we can blame it on them when they get back, right? Well, that's a good call. Tyler, come here. What's that for a per first pitch swing? What, if you're going to swing on the first pitch, it should be a good swing, right? Okay, you know what to do. Go back and do what you've been taught and do it the right way. Hey, Phil, did you hear, hear me call timeout and talk to Tyler about that swing? What do you think when he was rounding first base he was thinking? Was he thinking, wow, Dad, thanks for the great advice. I could have never done it without you. Or was he thinking, if you just left me alone, I know what I'm doing, it would have been fine. I'd say the latter also. Hey Dusty. Hey, what room number are your parents in this time? Did they bring that suitcase that has all the uh, you know the goodies in it that they bring with them on the trips? You know the little bar? Okay. Well just in case I need to get a hold of one of the parents, I know where they're all be at. Yeah, your room. Ed, the first time I saw I guess he was eight years old catching major league kids, 11, 12 year olds, and he's throwing to second from his knees, eight years old. I couldn't believe it. He just got mad at me because I got onto him for doing the same thing. And you know what he says? He goes, you get onto me about doing it now? But five years ago, you thought it was the greatest thing in the world. I mean, how do you argue that? Hey, Wes, I knew you and McGinnis were having a great talk out there. If one of you could just find it in your heart to back up the pitcher, you'll be closer for better conversation and you're helping me out too. It's the best of both worlds. Can one of you do that? Christian, you're an A student, right? And I think your mom told me you go to a private school and you're, and you're an A student? How do you swing a ball over your head like that on a 3-0 pitch? Bill, I just asked Christian how he swung that ball over his head. You know what he says? He says, because I know the next one, he'll think I'm such a bad hitter, he'll groove a strike and I can hit it over the fence. You know, sometimes these kids are smarter than we think. Hey Jordan, come here. Hey look, championship game. We're up three to nothing. We got the bases loaded. There's nobody out. He just walked two batters. Okay? I'm not big, and you know that, on uh, taking strikes. But if there's ever a time to take a strike, it'll be right now, okay? So be smart. You play this game a long time. Get up there and do the right thing, alright? Okay. Holy crap, he swung at it. Hey, you're just lucky. You're just lucky. Hey, Larry. 
If they weren't drawn in, that's an infield fly, barely hit behind the clay. Your son would be dead right now if that wasn't the case. Jordan, why are you always smiling? Austin, you're exactly the same way. You both look like you're always up to something. Hey, you know, John, two years ago it wouldn't make a difference, but now when the ladies or these girls come up and dress the way they are, you can't get the kids that are looking that direction to focus on the batter. I mean, look, at, look at those two. They're not looking at the batter or the pitcher. They're looking up there in the bleachers. we got to do something about that. Angus, it's only 90 feet from second to third. You just ran a quarter mile. Hey, you know, Ed, do you have the same feeling I do when you talk to Matt? I know he's very intelligent. I get that look from him like, you couldn't possibly know more than I do. Do you feel the same way? I'll tell you what, Phil, I get a lot of luxury and comfort with Michael. Because you need a middle reliever, and he's so consistent. You know, he's so consistent every time he comes in here. It's just the comfort of knowing that you have him ready to go in in the middle of a game when you need him, whether you're leading or you're behind, you know? Hey, Sheree, what's up? What's he got to say? What is it? Hey, Mike, what's up? Well, I guess you've earned it. Tell you what, next week I'll let you start the first game, okay? All right, good job. Hey, Phil, remember that comfort and luxury we have in middle relief? Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Hey, Derek, Charlie's pitching 70 miles an hour, and you're throwing it back to him 85. Seriously. Hey, Mr. Shermack, Matt, come here. Hey, your dad was in the Special Forces, right? Do me a favor. If I do anything to upset you, you don't think I'm fair? Come to me first before you go to your dad. Hey, Phil, you ever notice Every once in a while, Josh and Brian, they'll throw a ball that's like 10 miles an hour faster than they normally do. Sometimes I look around thinking, did anybody notice that? Did anybody see that? They get a hold of the right pitching coach and give them the right methods and uh, perfect their skills, perfect their delivery and form. The sky's the limit for those two guys. Hey, Ed, can you bring in Danny? He's playing practically on the warning track. She said that whistle. Right next to my ear? Seriously? You know, Dustin, the quiet ones are the mischievous ones. Just so you know, I know. Watch it. You know, some people make it look easy, Ed. Ed. Some kids make it look easy. I used to think Old Nungesser was just lazy when I never coached him. Now that I coach him, the game just comes easy to him. You know, and it makes it look lazy sometimes, but he's not lazy. Some people just have that knack. Tyler, what's in your back pocket? What's in your back pocket? You seriously brought a hot dog down the field? Okay, guys, gather up. Coaches, got anything? Parents? Guys, good job. A lot of fun. Make smart decisions. And like I said, good game.